Hi everyone, today's lesson is lesson 56, acting out, drawing pictures, and writing number sentences for equal group stories. Now at school we do equal groups every single day, and sometimes you work with groups in the class. And often when we work with groups, you want to try to have the same number of children in each group so you have equal groups. Okay? You may work in groups of three, or two, or four. Okay? So let's say we have two teams of children, and we need five children on each team. Okay? So first of all, I want to know how many groups the teacher will have. Okay? Since it's groups, I know that groups is, have a lot of people in it. So I know that there are two teams, which means that I have two groups. Okay? And then it says how many are in each group. Well, it says I need to have five children on each team. So that means I'm going to have five children in each group. Okay. So if I want to show this, I would draw a picture. Okay. So I'm going to show the two teams Okay. by dividing my paper in half. So I have a team on the left and a team on the right. Okay. And then I'm going to draw children and I'm going to use a smiley face to show each child. So the team on the left has five kid, five children. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and team on the right also has five children. So if we look, it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then um, what I drew, I drew that we have two groups of five children. And the quick way to write that, of course, is two times five. Okay. So how many children did I draw all together? If we look, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So two groups of five children equals ten. And we always make sure to label it, label it, so it's 10 children. Okay. All right. So in this case, I have five groups of two children. So I have five groups, and I have two children in each group. Okay. So if I wanted to draw this picture, I would divide up and have five groups. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I need to have two children in each. So I'm going to draw my picture with the little smiley faces. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Okay. So again, if we wanted to show this, remember the multiplication problem is would be five times two, and if we look, I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So again, I have ten children total. Okay, so these are equal groups numbers sentences. Okay. Now I'm going to pretend that for a class project, I need three groups of children with four children in each group. So I'm going to draw circles to show it on this case. So I've got three groups, so I'm going to use circles this time. One, two, three. And then I need to have four children in each group. So I'm going to draw the children again in this group, in each group. So we have one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to have four children in this group and four children in this group. Okay, so my multiplication number sentence would look like this. Three times four equals, or sorry, three times four children. My H's aren't working so well. Children equals, and I have a total of 12 children. Okay. All right. For the last problem, I have four teams and I need to have five children on each team. Okay. So again, I'm going to use circles 
to show the four teams. Okay. And I'm going to put the three, the five children in each team. And I'm just going to use short, small circles to represent the children this time. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, they almost don't fit. <laughs> five in that group. There are five in this group. Five in this group. And five in this group. So you can see I have a total of 20 children. So my number sentence would be four times five children equals 20 children. Okay, and that's it for your homework. You'll be drawing pictures and answering questions. Okay, good luck.